transit has to work when people need it. It's very much like the sector that we come from where people want to flick the switch. Electricity's got to work, the same with transit. The reason we work with transit agencies is because our experience with fleets, we help them through the transitioning to electrification. My team doesn't need motivation. The urgency is there. My vision for the future is totally electric. We have to convert all the garages to accept all these buses. We were really set up with a mandate to help fleets electrify. The reason we focus on fleet operators is because we really want to make a dent. The way we make an impact is by going after fleets that have thousands of buses and thousands of trucks. Service is just under 1,900 buses per day. Of course, there were diesel buses. That's the diesel engine. That's the great big tailpipe. You can imagine all the emissions that are spewing out of that pipe. Very early in transportation, lots of things were electrified. Talking about the, the electrification of the TTC, first electric trolley bus was in 1922. 1947, that's when a new generation of trolley buses. You look up, all you see is wires everywhere. I can't even see the sky. I'm listening because I've never, I didn't know any of this. So to me, I'm just you soaking didn't. it all in. No, I had no idea. I don't know the history yet. And then we moved to fossil fuels and internal combustion engines. These buses were actually getting very expensive to run and to maintain. They made a decision to, to get rid of the buses. In 1996, I was the one that was tasked with removing the infrastructure. I basically have grown up here. I was a summer student, and then I ended up getting a full-time job here. Even though I've been here a long time, I like to be out there with pushing change and being able to think about things that worked before, the lessons learned, and then move our organization forward. People say, let's get as many subways in as we can, let's get as many streetcars in as we can. But if you talk to bus people, seats are very comfortable. <laughs> bus engineering or bus operations, they think that they're the backbone of the transit system. And in many ways they are. The hydro outage, the whole subway system can be down. Streetcar systems, you know, if something goes wrong, it has a huge ripple effect. Buses don't have that. The bus system continues to run, and also buses serve a much larger number of people, geographically speaking. The bus system is a kind of unsung hero of transit. The TTC was tabling a request to procure about a thousand more diesel buses. So they said, hold off, you know, come back with a plan that considers the state of technology and how we might transition. So my job really was to kind of challenge the status quo because the existing bus operations was somewhat resistant to change. You know, they had been burnt by other technology advances in the past. People point out that, hey, electric buses, this isn't the first time TTC's had electric buses. We've had trolley buses and we got rid of them. This project really, I, I look at it as a milestone in TTC's history. And, and now we're the leaders and we're taking on this new technology. So we started with 30 and then we have 60 buses now. TTC's plan to electrify its bus fleet is one of the most ambitious that I've ever seen. It's a, a neat project, a first of its kind in, in North America, where here we are lucky to have this overhead system that was already in place. It's been decommissioned, but it's a perfect piece of equipment to mount these overhead pantographs that you see above me. Right now it has 10 chargers or 10 pantographs connected to it. We will have another 340 buses by the end of 2025. TTC's got over 2,000 buses. This is really the next phase for them of being a fully sort of clean transit agency. The bus division had no experience with high power systems. And so there was some people to advise on the electrification of the bus systems. You get to meet new people that are from a lot of different backgrounds and a lot of different industries. And once you get to collaborate, it's electric. <laughs> Electricity, that type of thing is fairly easy for me. That was part of the reason why we were able to kind of deploy very quickly, for sure. It's really the first time the industry has come together to solve a common problem. 
We're constantly growing because we're getting new projects. I was supposed to be retired, so when I became aware of this project, which would revolutionize the way that TTC does business, I thought that's a perfect opportunity for me. Not removing things, but actually installing things for a new generation of buses. 